It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Giants and the Cowboys, and it's coming up next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, and Charles, you look at our two quarterbacks in this one, it's really a good matchup when you boil it down. Daniel Jones of the Giants, Dak Prescott of the Cowboys. And Brandon, I think each one might be trying to play some form of keep away from the other because when you think about time of possession and what that means in a game, it's great if you're able to hold on to the football and run your offense at your pace. And it also helps to keep the other guy's offense on the sideline. That's your goal for the game. Set to go now is the kicker, Chris Nagar. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Here's Robinson. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Jones. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Akins. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going on, out of baby. bounds. Let's go! You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. They run with Barkley on first down, and he gets about five out of it. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Oh, that's money in the bank, Second down at five. Throwing Jones. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony, And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass. That required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. 
A first down carry for Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Second and eight. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man right side is Tony. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Saquon Barkley. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now it's second and nine. Back to throw, Jones to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Barkley. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. Barkley again, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from two yards out, and the Giants are gonna take a first quarter lead. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Graham Gano on for the extra point. 
It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. First down, Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. There's a nice move. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 38. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Aziz Ojolari there on the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw is Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. 
And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. His throw caught right around the six. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond, as you just noted. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Elliott. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Again, it's Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Chris Nagar now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Here's Robinson. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line Come and no on, further. Let's go. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Looking to throw. Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. So the completion good for six yards. And they're going to face a third down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game 
where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got our bike. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. You remember me? You remember me? Prescott looks to throw on first. Touchdown! That's caught. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys on just two plays have taken the lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Nagar now for the point after. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Robinson. And he takes this near the 25, just a little on, pass fellas. there. Call it the 26. Possession of the football going back over to the Giants. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. 
So Let's pin go. that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better no, pass rushers right. in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. They get the penalty yardage back, plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw to Barkley on the check down. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to lead to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. to throw Jones they'll set up the screen to Barkley and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion but they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half they must have seen something in the scouting that said hey we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field and I think in the second half that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. To the right and complete to Galladay. And he's able to get this down to the five yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And that'll set him back five. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Yeah. 
The Giants on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Looking to throw, Jones. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Osa Odigizawa gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. On fourth down, on is Graham Gano for the Giants' field goal. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Gano's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This is Tony Pollard. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Elliott able to avoid him at the 40. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace him. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally <laughs> forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Open man lamb, it's complete. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, 
He was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. One man in the backfield, that's Elliott on second and goal. Right there, 54, right there. Here's Prescott, and this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push on in front further. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. That's a four behind the goal. is up and good, and that makes it a 21-10 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good, Good coverage as he's dropped at the Let's 17. Go. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. On second and nine, Jones trying to lay one up deep. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that... Looks like an extra step was involved. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. A handoff to Barkley, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 36, Jones. And that'll be caught by Tony. Jones now on first and 10. That's caught by Galladay. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 
not only was it a double move route, it was a dreaded post corner for any defensive back because you think that he's going all the way to the post in a deep route, and then he breaks it off to the corner. That's hard to flip your hips and get there. Well, he didn't flip them in time. Big play. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 31. Back to throw, Jones looking middle and it's incomplete. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 22. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are models? Because that's what you want in short running situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run with Barkley, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Throwing on second down, Jones. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. But they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. The Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. Out comes C.D. Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. And his two touchdowns, a big reason they're winning right now. So meaningful when you score and it's got your team out there in front. Changes the complexion of everything you're doing. It's one thing to score a well, garbage time, doesn't it? but these count. This is a big deal, and he's making those types of plays. And I think they'll keep finding ways to get it to him. I was just going to say, probably going to go back to him. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. 41 yards on the ground for him so far. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six, now second and four. A give to Elliott. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. 
It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. This is unbelievable. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Throwing, Prescott. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Dexter Lawrence, he's the culprit dropping him for a two yard loss. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. On third down, it's Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. He'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Bam. 
Jones throwing on first down. Throw right side into the hands of Aikens. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. From just shy of midfield, Jones throwing deep for Galladay. And this is caught. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Another try for Barkley, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Let's go, let's go, now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. Here's Barkley, and this time he is in. Yes. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Gano for the extra point. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now Pollard. Oh, good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Tony Pollard. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there.
The guard now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Here's Robinson. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Let's go! Kenny Galladay making his way back onto the field with the rest of this offense. He's up near 100 yards now here in the second quarter, but his team's down through no fault of his own. I mean, what a nice game he's having so far. They've got to keep finding ways to get him the football. Don't get away from that. Figure out where things are going wrong with the rest of the team. He'll be hoping to hit that 100-yard mark on this drive. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Jones. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after ready, plays. But with the kind you're of numbers ready. he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones throwing deep for Galladay. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Jones. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And he goes out right around the 39. Five yards, now it's third and five. And I believe they buzz down. They're gonna take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So that challenge is a successful one. I spy a couple of extra defensive backs on the field for Dallas. Cowboys in the dime on third. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decided to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Kill, kill! Kill, kill! 
And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports halftime report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for the Giants. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they had a little bit more success on the ground than their opponents did, and that should set them up well for the second half to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Now Pollard. And able to get this out to the 25. We got this. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Now an option play on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. They'll try and run for it with Elliott, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. The give is to Elliott. 82 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And some room to maneuver. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. A first down carry by Elliott. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. He finds his man, complete. It's Schultz. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Prescott from the gun. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Next report by Nagar is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Robinson. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In on, fact, fella. just a yard pass there to the 21. Oh, that's money in the first, baby. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting him there and bringing him to the ground. They 
tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they had just time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Here's Jones on third down. Throwing deep for Gallardo. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Yeah, and this is a case of improper form from a tackling perspective because when you get ready to go up against a back like this, everyone has to be able to understand you've got to be able to slow him down and let the cavalry come to the rescue be found that time though and this winds up being a big play and the next gen stats tell us he took it better than 30 yards after that initial contact a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion two yards left on second down from the nine Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 49 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Barkley will score. Touchdown, New York. So he's in for his third score of the game, and a defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. Gano now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now Pollard. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. Now he's right there on the doorstep now. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. So the drive's gonna start with Pollard. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Prescott. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Washington. 
And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Aziz Ojulari, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. Open man right side. It's Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play here for Dallas. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. On first and ten, Prescott. Throw left side, taken in by Washington. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And it'll be second and very short. Prescott now. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Elliott. And he's brought down 105 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, that puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Elliott will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Nagar now for the point after. And the lead is up to 18 now. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott.
is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Robinson. And able to get this across the 20, but not much Good further as he's Let's dropped go. it to 23-yard line. Shut him down! Kenny Galladay making his way back onto the field with the rest of this offense. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. And a fair catch called for him made just inside the 35-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. So glancing at these numbers, I think they tell a story of Hey, early on, he got hot, he got their attention. They've been able to hone in on him, shut him down a bit. He certainly did get their attention, and that's the ultimate compliment for a player, that when you come out in the second half, all of a sudden there's extra guys around you, there are different coverages rolled your way. That means you've done something really well. Now it's up to him to make his own adjustment and find a way to beat the new defenses he's facing. Prescott's throw taken in by Jarwin. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Partner took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Elliott. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. And that 
that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Looking to throw, Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. On second down, Elliott once more. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. On third down, Elliott. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first down, it's Elliott. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Second and seven. Here's Prescott. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already 2-2 two two on third down conversions on this drive. Prescott to throw it. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Schultz, and he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon, and the Cowboys will add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? Oh, yeah, and he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. The guard now for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. 
So that drive 12 plays in length. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 15. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. That'll be caught. It's Tony. Touchdown, Giants. Kadarius Tony, 85 yards. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch the short passes, he can run under a long pass, or he can do what we saw right there, catch one and then make a big gain after the catch. Gano the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort, it results in the touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now Pollard. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. Elliott going to get it again on second down. Power running by Zeke. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Come on, baby. Let's go. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again to Elliott. 
Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. That's a big letdown defensively. They had him stop behind the line, but the face mask is going to bail the offense out. And the hand does not have to be up there for too long. Just a little bit of a grab is going to be enough to get the call and the 15 yards against them. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Looking to throw. Jones. Working the middle, and he's got it complete to Akins, the tight end. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Throwing again on second down. Jones and quickly into the hands of Robinson. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. We play to win. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows how to find the end zone. That time, he just didn't get there. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. And the Giants have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Gano for the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now Pollard. And he won't quite make it to the 25. All day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. 
They've got the two-score lead. It, look, though, they fumbled last possession, led to a touchdown. So while things look good here at this stage in the fourth, they got to be careful. They, they definitely do because they've actually brought them back into it, haven't they? Mm. They've given them hope once again. Their purpose on this drive, squash that hope one more time. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. On first down, it's Elliott, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Cowboys on third down. They've been excellent, six for seven. This is third and eight. To throw is Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On second down, Elliott once more. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame.
And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. This from 54 yards away. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. This. No good, and this score will stay right where it is. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And some play callers, when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot of screens and they don't care what down. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen, or that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards. To throw is Jones. His throw incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Jones. And that will be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Jones. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. But sometimes you just got to marvel okay. at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And give him credit. He deserves it. But this is such a breakdown defensively, my goodness. From a pass rush perspective, you know that they got to be coming hard on fourth down trying to get to the quarterback. But from a coverage perspective, how do you not see that play developing? And it turns into a touchdown. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Here's Jones. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And the Cowboys are able to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the Let's 30. Go. Let's go. Let's now go. the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take an aim. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.